In this video we're going to look at Avantage data and converting Avantage data from an AVG format. In this instance we have data that have been acquired in an intricate sequence of measurements. So we have for each measurement, that is to say each narrow scan, we have an AVG file and these files are in equivalent format and this is the carbon 1S that corresponds to the manganese 2P and the oxygen 1S. All three have similar format because they are all part of an etch sequence that involves repetition and splitting information into the streams from the different detectors on this instrument. So the data file contains an energy interval that represents in this case the carbon 1S. So we have a sequence of steps that are made in order to acquire a spectrum and for each energy range scanned the signal is separated into six detector streams. Then after a measurement of these six different spectra the iron gun etches a sample for a period of time and then a new measurement is performed and this is performed 13 times. So this would represent a typical depth profile. However, in this case we have a further control item which is an iteration and this is performed 10 times. So what happens is rather than having one etch sequence of 13 etch cycles collecting spectra in each case, we have 10 sets of such measurements. So the data file contains effectively 10 sputter profiles. For an ordinary measurement of spectra that involve a scan of energy and even etch times, then the AVG file conversion filter would work. However, because we have in this case iterations and we also have a splitting of data between detectors, the format requires the use of an ATH file extension when converting these data files. So rather than entering a a file name dot avg we write in this case a profile iteration dot ath now the first part is just any name we choose but the dot ath or a thermo will read the avantage thermo data files that make use of these iterations and multiple detectors and a new VAMAS file will be created in this directory that will be constructed from each of the AVG files. So we have three different AVG files and these will all be read when we press the open button and the new VAMAS file written back to this directory. You can see the new VAMAS file within the existing directory. This was created from these AVG files and then opened in CASA XPS and these data are now organized so that we can see the structure of the experiment. So we have the six detector channels here so they were all assigned the same experimental variable and this represents the etch time so you can see this is the first etch cycle, second etch cycle etc and as we slide down this data file you can see the repetition, so the iteration has started again. So we have six detector channels representing the carbon 1S, manganese 2S and the oxygen 1S. So these are part of the iteration sequence and there are ten of these. So scanning down the data file you keep seeing zeros appearing again and that's where the etch sequence has started afresh and there will be 10 of these in this data file. So this represents quite an intricate measurement producing quite a, a complex data file and it's for this reason that the ATH file filter was necessary when converting these data.